I'm so glad we could get you a nice special table. Hello and welcome to another extraordinary night at the Velvet Night! The Velvet Nerd's a place where you can see and hear world-class musicians in a setting that's as intimate and as comfortable as your living room. We give you a chance to get to know the musicians here, but also to hear the music the way that it was meant to be heard. We're a listening room. We had our acoustics designed by a protege of the Hollywood director, George Lucas, under his guidance to be the highest quality, unenhanced sound available today. And it is with great honor and excitement that I introduce the second installment of a new series that we have uh, featuring jazz guitarist Rod Harris, Jr. Um, you may first have seen Rod on the scene as the guitarist for the popular artist music Soul Child, but he has done so much more, including his most recent release, which I personally listen to in my car over and over again, called Exits and Options. And um, he is uh, leading this band, which I think is comprised of some of the best cats in town, including Louis Haribel on piano. Mm. Mm -hmm. Tommy Sauter on bass. Give it up. And back from New York, Marlon Patton on drums. If you're watching us on YouTube or Facebook, thank you so much. We love streaming to you from our living room to yours. And what makes it even better is when you show your love to the band and to the club. We'd ask you to do that by going to thevelvetnote.com forward slash donate. That's thevelvetnote.com forward slash donate. It's very helpful to us and we hope that you'll do that. I try to give a shout out to somebody I know who's streaming with us every night and tonight my shout out is to Luis and Marianne. Snuggle up, get comfortable, let us take you there. Put your hands together for Harris, Haribo, Sauter, and Penna!
Brothers, how's everybody doing? Thank y'all so much for coming out here on this Sunday evening after Christmas. Happy holidays to everyone. Uh, how about a hand one more time for Mr. Lewis Harrell on piano. Mr. Tommy Sauter's on the bass, y'all give it up for Tommy on the bass. Tonight we got the great Marlon Patton, y'all give it up for Marlon on the drums. My name is Rod Harris Jr. We are here. Thank y'all so much. I'll take that. We're here uh, doing this residency every Sunday, or as many Sundays as Miss Tamara will give us. So, uh, I can hear you. <laughs> you're supposed to close your ears when I'm talking. <laughs> y'all give it up for Tamara for this establishment. This is, this is like the last of the Mohicans when it comes to. Uh, to establish this decade or two to live jazz music. I think this is the only place uh, left in Atlanta uh, that specifically caters to jazz. So please continue to patronize uh, the establishment and the music. Um, that last tune was a, a tune, old standard entitled Without a Song. And before that, uh, we did Gingerbread Boy, which is a tune by the great Jimmy Heath, who also, I think, passed away uh, this year. As a matter of fact, he died this year. A lot, of, uh, a lot of loss this year, but we uh, are grateful to still be here. So we're going to keep playing some music because that's what you all came to hear. So uh, here we go.
there we go. While Tommy uh, finds the chart for this next one, that was entitled Soulful uh, by the great Roy Hargrove and John Batiste. Y'all might see John Batiste on uh, Stephen Colbert's show. I think he's still on there. But uh, he's an amazing composer, pianist, who um, actually toured with Roy before Roy Hargrove, before he kind of got his, his claim to fame. Um, but that, that tune is entitled Soulful. Um, this next tune is entitled Shade of the Cedar Tree by the great Christian McBride, um, who's also very, very famous now. <laughs> so we're going to do this, our version of uh, the Shade from the Cedar Tree. Shade of the Cedar Tree. Everybody doing okay? Yeah. The music is sounding good. It's kind of quiet in here. Y'all are welcome to clap your hands. I heard... Listening, okay. The more y'all drink, the better we gonna sound, so y'all drink up. I heard we got a, 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 an extreme jazz enthusiast named Rommel in the, in the building. Romel. Romel. Thank you so much for coming. I heard uh, you had a good time last night, so I'm glad you came back tonight. Uh, here we go.
So y'all just bear, <laughs> bear with me real quick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So this next, uh, I, I'd like to tell people what they're hearing so that y'all can support the artists that uh, if you really dig the music, hopefully, as long as we do them justice, which usually we do. <laughs> this, this, uh, this next gentleman, uh, his composition uh, is entitled On My Way Home. He's actually, uh, I would consider him a contemporary uh, trumpeter. When I say contemporary, meaning uh, around my age. Um, his name is Maurice Brown. He's actually on tour right now with Anderson Pock. Anderson Pock. I don't know if, how many of y'all are familiar with Anderson Pock, but he's a fairly popular uh, hip hop artist. But he's a, also an amazing jazz trumpeter. Uh, Maurice Brown. Speaking of Maurice Brown, so this tune is entitled "On My Way Home" uh, by Maurice Brown. Thank <laughs> you. 
We just up here having a good time, y'all. Thank y'all so much for indulging us. Uh, how about a hand for Mr. Marlon? This, I haven't played with this gentleman in a long, long while. He was actually, uh, he left us and moved to New York because he's that good and we just suck. <laughs> no, nah, but he, uh, he moved to New York and then COVID hit and uh, Mercy said no, as the church, church man would say. So he's back down here and, uh, and um, we, we, we're so glad to have him back. He's also an amazing engineer. Um, about a year and a half ago, I recorded, almost two years now, I guess, because the year is closing out, I recorded a record um, entitled Exits and Options, and um, he, he actually mixed the record, and it sounds amazing. Um, and this gentleman behind me actually recorded on it as well. Um, I do have CDs for sale. Um, after the show, should you care to uh, take me home, me and Lewis home. And also I have another, also have a record, uh, me and this gentleman just this year. See, we were, we were busy, like we, we were determined to stay productive. <laughs> me and this gentleman, actually, uh, Tommy, we just recorded a duo record, um, has eight songs and it's a, um, it's a tribute to the jazz piano legends of the past. So we just decided to get together and choose some songs that we enjoyed uh, listening to and uh, do our own arrangement, just the two of us. And Marlon actually mixed that too. So if y'all have anything that needs to be mixed or mastered, that's the dude too. But um, this, since, since I'm on that subject, this next tune um, uh, for Exodus and Options, the, the idea of that record was to take some hip hop songs and uh, reimagine them. Because most of the, I, I got interested and in, in actually uh, introduced to jazz through hip hop music, because they would sample a lot of the records from the, the you know, 70s and 60s and even before that. And then they would put, you know, scratching and mixing and stuff on it and start rapping over it. So I was like, what if I took some of those samples and just wrote my own melodies uh, on top of that? Or um, just basically reintroduce the actual uh, initial jazz tune. So um, with that said, I want to do a, a, a couple of songs um, or yeah, maybe one <laughs> uh, off that record. This um, this tune is actually by the great David Fathead Newman, and um, it's entitled Symphonet. So here we go. Actually, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we will do, we'll try to squeeze two out, but I'd like to do the Symphonet uh, first. Right, short solos, Lewis said. Thank you. 
CDs for sale. Um, I already said that. Um, so it looks like we got uh, time for maybe one more. Um, <sighs> Thank y'all so much for coming out. Thank you so much. We will be here next Sunday. Um, same time, same place, as long as Tamara will allow us. She says she's going to turn the place into a chicken, chicken shack, so she may kick us out. <laughs> so please come back. If you all enjoyed what you heard, please come back and tell a friend to tell a friend. Uh, one more time for Lewis on piano. Mr. Marlon Patton is on the drums. Tommy Sauter's on the bass. My name is Rod Harris Jr. I think um, we'll close it out like we are. Oh, you want to talk? We got time for one more or are you going to kick us out? Okay. All right. Off the chain. I, I appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. That's Mr. Bill. He is here. I don't know. What days are you here, Bill? I'll be here Thursday this week. The Thursday. Usually here Friday. Great guitarist as well. Y'all come support uh, Mr. Bill Hart. Yes. Are you, so y'all already know. Awesome. Thanks, Bill. Um, so we're going to close this out with, um, I always feel like we should pay homage to uh, the guy who created the music, or not necessarily, oh, let, let me correct myself, because I know there's some uh, musicologists out there. He didn't create it, but he is the most uh, prolific man in jazz history. His name is Mr. Charlie Parker. So we're going to close this out with a tune entitled Donna Lee.
for letting us stream from your from our living room to yours. You can show some love to the band and to the club by going to thevelvetnote.com forward slash donate. That's thevelvetnote.com forward slash donate. These guys are hungry. <laughs> Give it up for Tamara's sexy voices. <laughs> This <laughs> is what we love to do, That's right. <laughs> which is to bring you closer to artists who inspire you, closer to each other, and closer to the song that's in your heart. Come back and see us again soon. Good night. Thank you. <laughs> 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 